guys. So today's a little different. Fridays can be a little bit wacky around here. And I just realized my dog's out of dog treats. And I haven't bought dog treats for my dog in, oh my gosh, I don't know if ever. Long time ago, I came across this recipe for a mock milk bone and I modified it. And basically our dog drools over these things. I think your dog would love it too. So the first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Six cups of whole wheat flour. Okay, six cups of whole wheat flour is in. One cup of dry milk powder. And I don't measure super crazy accurately when it comes to the dog. Um, he gets what he gets and he doesn't throw up there. The next ingredient I add is two eggs. And this is just kind of what holds it together. One, two. Now, the original recipe called for a stick of butter, and eventually I was like, mm, this is kind of a lot of butter I'm going through. So instead, I just make bacon on a baking tray, and I collect the grease when I'm done, put it in a little dish, and this is the dog's big secret ingredient for these dog treats, is um, about a half a cup of bacon. Bacon fat. All right, so this is what it looks like. Six cups of flour, one cup dry milk powder, two eggs, um, about a half a cup or so of uh, bacon fat. You kind of stir this together, make sure those egg yolks break up. The next thing is to add just enough flour whoo, to get it kind of um, hold it together, like a, a dry dough, okay? What you don't want to do is add too much water. Now, originally this recipe called for broth, um, one day I didn't have it, so I just made it with water, and he didn't really complain, so I thought, well, I'll save my broth. So just start adding enough water, um, gradually add a little bit more until it starts to cling just a bit, but it's still dry around the edges. Okay, once the mixture starts to kind of cling together, I'm gonna turn this out onto a countertop, and remember, turning something out just means dumping it out onto your counter. Okay, now I just kind of gather it together, and if I need to add a little bit more moisture, I just sprinkle it on. But I'm just gonna kind of slowly knead it, work it, until it smooshes up together. So if I had to guess, I'd say I added about a cup and a half of water. So once your ingredients come together into kind of this solid glob, you're gonna take a rolling pin, and you're gonna roll this flat. Okay, now that you've got this kind of flat, um, we're gonna start just taking pieces and putting them on a baking pan. Now, I don't really grease my baking pan. It doesn't seem like these stick. I used to cut out little shapes and make them all fancy. Well, guess what? The dog, Goose, doesn't really care how they look. All he cares about is the taste. So, go ahead and load these up. Um, I used to actually sell these and call them Goose Bites. So, that's what I'm gonna call this recipe today is Goose Bites. So it's kind of like playing Tetris, just squeeze as many onto a pan as you can. And like I said, I actually will use two of these pans. And once you've got both your pans filled, go ahead and pop them into a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes, depending on the thickness and size of your goose bites. After 30 to 45 minutes, remove from the oven and let them cool slightly before transferring them into an open air container for storage. Goose. Goose is the Madison County Fair winner for tricks. Way, way, way. Okay. Good job. Let's see another trick. 